what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and today i want to talk to you guys about the et100 now i told you guys that the et100 was my favorite indoor flyer and some of you guys who don't have the et100 are probably not aware that the et100 doesn't fit full two inch props you have to get the 1.9 inch props or smaller in order to use them on the et100 and usually those props are these props <laughs> the this side this is the prop it actually comes with and i think they do have like the uh five bladed props that come in 1.9 uh inches there and it's really a struggle to find good props these are the five bladed props here and they're a little noisy these are the hokey 1940 props 1.9 inch props and till today those were the best props i think for this thing and it the, all of the props suffer from this <laughs> they all break easy i don't know how the heck we managed to break the props on the et100 being that it has these rings around it but now i found that these props here are the best props for this thing now this isn't my et100 this is actually my et115 however i do have the rings on it the prop protectors from the et100 and this actually has 1104 motors but these props here are the hq 1933s aka the fat boys as i like to call them i did feature these props here on my channel before and these props I found are the best props for the ET100. And, well, at least for this thing here. And I think it'll work the same for the ET100. And these props are virtually indestructible. Check them out. These are HQ 1933s again. And they're fairly thick here. And I think they work really well with this enclosed design here. The ducted fan design. I think it has a ducted fan effect. These prop guards do have a little lip here on the side. So, but I don't know with these, with this part open here, if it has the same effect as a ducted fan, maybe just a little bit because of this part here and this little lip on there. But for the most part, these props make this thing really perform well. And as a bonus, these props are a lot more quiet than all the rest of these props. So these props allow for a better experience of flying indoors with this thing. It doesn't wreak havoc on the ears of all my other family members when I'm flying it around. It's pretty quiet and the blades don't break. I've crashed this thing a bunch of times. I've flown, I've flown little quads with these props outdoors and they just don't break. They're pretty hard to break virtually indestructible just like the prop guard and the canopy on the et100 these props are a perfect match indestructible with indestructible so i think these props complete your et100 I, I, it definitely completed mine my et100 115 hybrid that is <laughs> i do plan to make another et100 my et100 is disassembled because i plan on a build with some 1104 10,000 kV motors from from Airblade UAV and so until then I've been flying this thing around and these props make it a very pleasant experience indoors as far as the how loud it is and the props don't break I still don't understand how the heck all the other props are just breaking with these prop guards on it Anyhow, let me show you guys how it flies and how it sounds. Check it out, y'all. I'm just about to do a quick line of sight here. Show you guys how quiet this thing is and how well these props work. A little noisy out here, but check them out. They're pretty quiet. Hope you guys can hear that.
some decent power too. Here's a crash test. I know you guys heard the prop hit the ground a little. And check it out, still no damage or anything. I hope I didn't blow an ESC though. ESC seems to be okay. So that's it, a quick demo of this ET Hybrid 115-100 with these HQ-1933 props, aka Fat Boys. Pretty nice prop for the ET-100. Quiet as well. Thanks for watching. Quiet and indestructible.